Hi, everyone. And first up at six o'clock, we are following some breaking news right now. A state senator under arrest, indicted by a federal grand jury on election fraud charges. Bridgeport Senator Dennis Bradley and his former campaign treasurer are accused of improperly getting nearly $85,000 in campaign money and then lying to try and get more. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live for us at the state capitol. And Susan, this is pretty serious. It is serious, Aaron, and usually lawmakers are not shy when it comes to talking, but today no one is talking publicly about Senator Dennis Bradley. As for Bradley, he was in court today and he pleaded not guilty. As for the indictment, it does not come necessarily as a surprise to many lawmakers. There's been speculation and rumor for months that he was being investigated. Bridgeport Senator Dennis Bradley walked out of federal court in New Haven. He had nothing to say about his indictment on campaign finance fraud. Jessica Martinez, Bradley's former campaign treasurer in the 2018 election for Senate, is also charged. And she's also a board member for Bridgeport Public Schools. Bradley's troubles involve an event he held the night he ran for office. At that gathering, Bradley is accused of accepting campaign donations and then later lying about them in order to qualify for the state's public campaign financing system. Bradley eventually and secretly used personal funds to pay Dolphins Cove close to $6,000 for the March 15th campaign event in violation of CEP rules, which imposed a $2,000 limit on Bradley's expenditure of personal funds. The feds also say with the knowledge and approval of Bradley and Martinez, Bradley's campaign made filings with SEEK containing the incorrect dates from the altered or falsified contribution cards. The Senate president would not comment on camera, but said in a statement that Senator Bradley has now been removed from all committees and they've rescinded his position as deputy majority leader. Governor Lamont's director of communications says the governor is aware of the serious allegations against Senator Bradley and is supportive of the actions taken by Senate President Martin Looney. Now keep in mind when a candidate agrees to accept public financing, which are taxpayer dollars, there are tight restrictions on what they can and cannot do. As for Senator Bradley, he faces federal criminal charges and fines. We are live tonight at the State Capitol, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.